Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're here in Bloxburg. And um, so this is my house currently. And I'm honestly thinking about making a nice little motel. So I'm going to go ahead and sell everything in this house. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a tour real quick. So in here is like this nice little um, like office in like the shed. So I, I honestly thought I'd build this because it's like pretty cool. And uh, yeah, there's like guitars and stuff in here. You have a TV that, if, but if you sit down, you're like literally staring right at the TV. It's like right in front of you. But yeah, and yeah, there's that. There's a little air vent up here too, which I thought would be a cool little addition. But yeah, it's also a little phone, garbage can, just stuff like that. And honestly, you're gonna see this around the house a lot, like this little hexagon thing, because I like really love that design. So yeah, um, be prepared. And yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and let's come in here. Let's turn the uh, lights on, and then let's go ahead and explore. So, right here is the front of the house. So, out here we have a little candy bowl um, with some candy in it. And then we have this little doorbell here. And then we can go ahead and come in, right? And this is the main area. So, over here we have, like, a kitchen um, with some, like, wreaths up there or garland or whatever. Um, and then, yeah, another phone here, and this is the garage, we have a nice little bike in here, power box, rake, and light switch, and then over here is, like, a nice little cozy laundry room, with, like, some post-it notes, in here is another office, not completed yet, but it's just this, like, chair and stuff, and then, yeah, so this is the living room, too, in here is the dining room, um, uh, I don't know why all my windows are closed, but yeah, this is the dining room, out here is the backyard, which has, like, a fire pit out here, a bench, there's some trees around. In here is a bathroom. It's, like, really dim in here, but, um, yeah, it's, uh, here's the bathroom. And then, this is the bedroom. I kind of like this the most, because, like, we have this big window here, this bed, uh, books up here, bookshelf here, and, uh, just, like, all that stuff. And, yeah, that's about it for this house, but, um... If you actually go in the office, there's this little crevice in the floor, but we'll get to that in a minute. So if you go ahead and go outside, uh, and you, uh, come over here, you're gonna see that this part wasn't a part of the house. This is actually, like, a sort of a secret room. So we can go ahead and come in this door, and then we have, like, a mood room, I call it. So you can, like, uh, simply do, uh, like, the stove, you can do cooking, put stuff in the fridge, there's a TV, guitar, get your moods all up. But if you come back here, there's just another secret door that leads into, like, a closet where I can store some, like, Halloween stuff. And then in here is just a door to the, um, office. And there's, like, this trim around the whole place, too. So I can get show you guys real quick what it looks like. So there's, like, this trim. It's the flat baseboard. And I just have it the same wood as the pillars. So, uh, what I did is, like, basically took a pillar... So this is how I made it, right? So I took a pillar, and then I took a... No, not trash. I took a wall, and then just put it right at the pillar, and then you can, like, do that. And then put another pillar at the end. So just, like, shape your house out with pillars first. And that's basically how I did it. Then we have, like, a bunch of trees and stuff. But yeah, we're gonna be selling this house today. And currently we have around $15,000. So let's go ahead and bulldoze it. And, yeah, so we are going to get $25,000. Let's see how much the house is worth before we do that. It's worth $37,000. Well, that's good enough. I mean, we did spend a bit more than that, but, okay, continue. Yes, type username, uh, ultimate underscore. Wait, it's ultimate underscore. Bloxburg. Firm. Yep, perfect. And we have $40,000 to build a motel. So let's see how well this is going to work. And hopefully it'll go very good. So let's go ahead and start off with the base. So we're probably going to put it like right here. We don't want it all the way out. So let's put it like... Let's start from here. And then go out to like there. That's good, and then that's around, we'll go to here, that's good, and then this will be like the front office area, then we can have a wall going that way, and then we can have this going back a little bit, so it's not the same big wall, 
And then now we can, like, extend it, maybe? Yeah, that's probably a good area to extend out at. So let's extend all the way over here, and then extend to, like, right there? Okay, yeah, that should be good. So yeah, you guys can uh, see how I'm doing this. And that's a pretty good shaped motel. Let's see what that looks like so far. Yeah, honestly, it looks pretty good. That looks like a motel, to be honest. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and start building the shape of the rooms out. Something like that. So let's build them all like a three. Let's put them like a five by five. Five by one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. All right, wait, that was completely wrong. I just messed everything up. Perfect, and then let's just continue to do this. Um, five. It's gonna be a pretty sick motel. Tell me what you guys think of this motel in the comments below. Uh, yeah, I think it's gonna look pretty cool as a finished product. Um, one, two, five. And over there, we can have, like, a little tunnel to come in. Yeah. Okay, so this is about what every room looks like. So let's build them, like, almost the exact same. Unless, like, maybe some of them will be, like, more expensive. So, yeah. So let's take a door. Let's start off with a nice door that's not that expensive. Let's go with this one. It's $120. Let's put it at the right corner of the room. So, like, let's put it right there. Um, right there, and hopefully this is going to turn out with a good-ish look. Alright, perfect, they're all the same area. Okay, yeah, that's good. Okay, um, now we need some floors, because we can't just have a room without floors. That might not end very well. Um, where's floor? Oh, there it is. Okay, so let's put, yeah, okay, they can all have the same floor, sure. That's a lot of money. Okay, wait, I shouldn't have done that. I should have actually been smart with what I just did. Okay, so we're gonna have a floor right here because this is one room. Okay, and then we're gonna take the floor and let's make it what I want it. So let's go all the way down. Let's go pine cone and then let's go wood. And we're gonna get, let's get like this type of wood, like that nice floor. Okay, that's what I did to my house too, so should end up looking pretty good this one failed on me last time and didn't want to work so let's go like that perfect and then we can go ahead and put a floor over here all right perfect they all look good so far let's actually focus on making the rooms before like the offices and stuff you know because i don't want to like run out of money mid time here so let's get a bed okay let's get like this nice Let's get this cheap $300 bed. Because it is a motel. After no, you know what? We're not going to do beds yet. We need, to, we need to calm down a minute here. So let's go ahead and do windows. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So we don't want a window frame. We want an actual window. So let's get like... Honestly, this is kind of a hard decision. What does this look like? No, that ain't that good. What if I get this $95 window? I mean, I don't know, man. It's looking kind of good, but, like, let's go with this. So, we're going to put this right there, right there, right there, and then right there. Okay, perfect. That looks pretty good, to be honest. All right, next. So, we've got the windows in our motel. Let's go ahead and get, um the inside down here so maybe if i get enough money we can build like a hallway back here or something let's actually start off with that so i don't forget later so we can have like a hallway like right here that goes like this way so we can have like a hallway through the um all the rooms and then it'll like come out here so you can like leave out that way that's a pretty good idea to be honest so then let's do this. Oh, that's completely wrong. I'll have to customize the floor a bit later. Okay, so now 
let's decorate the room. So we need them all to be mostly the same. So let's go with this $350 bed. Not that expensive, not that cheap. Or no, $530. That should be good enough. Um, wait. I need to make sure I'm not getting ripped off here. Modern double bed. You know what? That'll work. It's 900 bucks. Let's put it... Wait. Wait. We're gonna get that bed. Possibly. I need enough room for, like, a bathroom. So let's make, like, a... That's a really short bathroom. Wait. I have an idea. Okay, guys. This isn't as hard... I mean, it's harder than it looks. Yeah, let's go like this. For all the rooms. That's not that bad, like a three by two. So it doesn't look like a literal rat's nest in here. Mm, okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so we have the layout. Honestly, this is a pretty good motel. So now we need to go and now let's actually put the stuff in. So we're gonna go ahead and go over to beds and we're gonna get no oh, that's a sleeping bag we can't have that bad of a quality in here we're just gonna have this one it's not the best it's a standard single bed but hey it's good enough if you want to come to a motel all right you're not staying here the whole entire time so now we're gonna have like wait let's just search through everything let's go for like a mini table so like something like that's like a dining room table, so let's go with like, hold on, let's go with like a table in the corner area here, and then we can use it as like a desk, so let's go ahead and put that like pine cone brown to match the floor. What did I do? Oh no, I screwed up the material. Um, yeah, that's good. Okay, now we need a, just like a nice little chair, like this simplicity chair will work fine. So let's just like put it so it's like facing the table. So like this. Okay. Now let's make it pine cone. Oh, that looks pretty good to be honest. Okay. Now let's like put a TV like on the desk. So it's like a desk, but it's like not at the same time. So let's put it so it's like even with the chair and the everything like that and then let's get like a small couch or no sofa because the so okay yeah and then let's just get like a regular sofa so kind of like or no let's just put the sofa up against the wall to be honest i don't know if that's really that good though i don't know it's it's what it is right now okay we're gonna make this a gray this like a white sure that'll work and then we need to fix the bed so it doesn't all not match you know so let's make this like a white too perfect wait did they add blankets or something pillow yeah there we go okay so let's place this on like yeah that's perfect we can't place them there okay that's pretty good, to be honest. Let's get, like, a photo. Or, no, a picture. Ooh, that's a... No, that's too expensive. I want, like, a... What's it called? Like, a um, painting. Will that come up? Yeah, there we go. How much is this? $150. That's not that bad. Let's just place, like, paintings up on the wall. You know, for the vibe of the room. So it's not, like, blank and everything. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, all right. So I think that's going to be all for this episode. Uh, I'll do another episode of building my motel uh, next video. So if you uh, enjoyed this, make sure to go ahead and like and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. And I'll do a part two, so make sure to go ahead and check that out. Bye.